<clears throat> hey guys and ghouls, welcome back to the Cozy Ghost. I'm your host, October, and welcome to Hive Swap Friend Sim. I am so ready to get right back into this, so let's just go. All right, we are now on, we're still on volume four of Right and Wronged, and I think we're about to be right. So we're going to go with this orange-blooded character. Fresh from your most recent bout of gratuitous bodily injury and touching scenes of camaraderie, you soldier on. You've had a few setbacks, made a couple silly choices. Boy, do things just keep happening. But let nobody say that you, the main character, are incapable of growth and change. You've made sure not to be caught in the wilderness near dawn again. You've made your way back to civilization. You can't wait to discover what new adventures await you. Adventures like... Friendship. All right. Vicari Ratit or Tagora. We've already gone with Tagora, so time for Vicari. I'm probably pronouncing this all very wrong. It's probably best for you to stop trying to predict what's going to happen to you at this point. Everything that's kind of happened so far in this planet has been kind of chaotic. In fact, you're ready for something more familiar. You head back to the site of your abandoned spaceship. Sure, it's smashed beyond repair, but it's a little slice of home. Maybe at least one or two of pieces, one or two pieces of it are fixable. You march off in what you think is the right direction. But when you get there, you're not alone. A little guy in a hat and big goggles is standing there, gazing at your spaceship. Maybe assessing it? As you watch, he breaks off a couple gears and stuffs them in his pocket. Hey! You clear your throat loudly. Good galloping gravy! Why, I've never seen the likes of you before. What strange wonders the heavens have rained down upon us today. You quickly lose any indignation you are building up. He's smiling at you and his words seem at least somewhat amicable. Maybe you got this all wrong. Maybe this is the next person you're going to get chummy with. You cut right to the chase. No point in beating the, around the leaf, ground leaf covering. That's probably what they call it on this planet. You let this guy know you're the proprietor of the spaceship he's stripping and you're in mighty need of a new friend. A friend, eh? A bosom companion, a pal about town. I've seen nary a Tom man, Dickus or Harry, Harry, Harry whoa. Tom and Dickus or Harry around these parts who might fit the bill. You were kind of trying to imply that this guy could be your friend. Is it too late to say that now? You try to imply it with your eyebrows. As for me, day-to-day -day matters here on Alternia interest me not. For I only care about hurtling at great speeds through the boundless expanse. Of the cosmos. That's right, space. It is spaceflight that consumes my every waking thought and all my ardor. As in accordance with my duty as a future Alternian crusader, of course. No oxygen, no wind, a total vacuum. That is the life for me, all right. Flying in space above the atmosphere, not within the realms of gravity's purview, wouldn't have it any other way. Right. You get the feeling you're missing something. This guy seems really defensive about his interest in space flight. Like, maybe he's trying to say something totally different. Whatever it is, his internal conflict clearly takes precedence over your issues. He seems like a great candidate for a friend, despite the fact that his voice sounds like it belongs to a newsreel about World War II. I'm probably doing the voice wrong. I have just one query for you, sport, if I may be so bold. Do you also like space flight? Do you yearn to see the moons shining above the clouds, whipping by as you chase and tease the impish western wind? And then also keep going past that up into space? Tell him you love space flight. Well, then we are in total agreement. Two kindred souls traveling hand in hand into a glorious yet inevitable future of conscripted service in space. Which, as I've already made clear, a thing I most definitely and positively desire. So it seems we have nothing more to discuss. Toodaloo. Uh, to toodaloo? Goddamn. I didn't think it'd be over so soon. Damn. 